Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This unboxing is the stuff that is kind of, well, it is kind of diamond painted related that I got on Amazon during the Black Friday sales time. Now, now I don't know if all of them were on sale. It was just at the time I was shopping, it was the Black Friday time. So, so I'm gonna move the stuff aside. And no, there's no diamond paintings, but kind of diamond painted related, except this one. This one is actually a nail wrap. It... And at the time I got this, it was 10, 10.99, I think. Yeah, no, it's 10.39 right now, today, which is 12.03, and this is going to be posted the Tuesday after this, it's at 12.99. And these are supposed to be nail wraps, so I don't know if you've noticed that um, my nails have gotten patterned, and no, but I'm not that, I'm not that, um, like, see, like Christmas patterns here. Um, I'm not that good at the <laughs> drawing or anything. I'm cheating. I'm using pretty much nail stickers. So this one I saw and I was like, ooh, those look really nice. Usually they're sealed. So I'm surprised these are not like more sealed. Um, Cause I usually get them and they're like sealed and shrink wrap. I don't know. Like I have, like I've just been getting random cheap ones, so they are, these are relatively cheap. The one thing though is when I saw these, I was like, this is huge. Like, look at my finger is nowhere that size, my fingernail. So I probably would have to just use the smallest sizes. Yeah, I probably have to use the smallest sizes. But I I liked it because it was glittery. And with like a little gradient, so purple, blue, green here, and then this nice, this one's really pretty. It's in, this looks like a black and more black. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get, yeah, no, more no, black, black, and then this purpley one here. And there's 14 of them, so there's this color here. That's a pretty color. There. That. That. Oh, that's, that might be too many colors for me. <laughs> and there. So this was 10, 1039 at the time of me buying it. And I have been using the nail. I've only, this is only the third, four. This is the fourth nail wrap I've put on my nails. Um, <laughs> I've gotten like, you before I got that gel manicure set, or I guess um, for a PR package, I was not, I did not paint my nails. I, I just didn't. And then, and then after I saw how pretty my hands looked on camera, I just kept going. Um, but I got, I went for these nail wraps because the gel, the gel nail polish looks beautiful, awesome. It's just such a pain to remove. They're just too hard to remove. Sometimes they would just fall off because I don't know, maybe bad user user um, error in application. And then sometimes it just peel off. I was like, oh, it fell, fell off. Ah. But the ones that just didn't fall off for the gel polish, it was like you, you could not take it off. I tried the, um, you know, the, well, it, you could take it off. It was just, really difficult. You had to like, um, you had to file your, the, the top, top, top coat off and then you had to soak it in acetone. Like you got like a cotton ball of acetone and you pretty much le like left the acetone thing on your hand for like several minutes and, and you can't do anything because now your fingers are just like covered. And then after that, it was not, still not the easiest thing to remove the gel polish. So, so yeah, I think if it wasn't for the fact that the gel polish was so difficult to remove, I'd still be using it because it's beautiful. They look beautiful. And then I was like, well, I saw 
because I was looking at other gel polishes. Nail wraps popped up and I googled, googled, I watched a couple YouTube videos on it and all the people that were doing the YouTube videos were doing like the $15 gel wraps and I'm like, I'm not spending that kind of money. Um, so I bought the cheapo kind and just used some of their tips to put it on. And so far it's been working. Now, FYI, I don't know what I'm doing. I am a novice in the nail thing, so. <laughs> and oh, what I find easy about these is I, I put in, I put in, um, they're like, I put, I still put the gel top coat over it. Right now I'm testing out a non-gel top coat, but these last, at least when I had the gel top coat, my, the nail wraps lasted me two weeks easily. Um, or, and I could have probably went on longer, but then I wanted to remove them. But then they peel off like a sticker and I was using oil to peel them off. Um, I'm testing out a non-gel um, top coat. I don't think it's gonna last this long. So, but, but yeah, I, these ones I should be able to take off with acetone. So yeah, it was mainly the, how difficult was it to remove the gel polish that stopped me from doing the gel polish. And now I could do these stickers that have patterns on it. So yeah, there's, <laughs> there's me talking about gel polish. All right. Next thing is... I figure we're on the not diamond painting purchases, but this one is more diamond painted related. My gel polish was more like, that's how I make my, that's what I've been doing to my nails. In case folks want to know. But yeah, no, the gel polish was just too hard for me. Just too much, too much effort to, to remove. I, I might still do it periodically. So this here is like, Joan, how is this diamond painted related? This is transparency paper, or I don't know if it's, that's the right word for it. This is transparency film here. Um, I do have a laser printer, so I got the laser printer version. And I don't know what that means by laminating film, so I'm hoping this is not a laminator. So this is the ones that you're supposed to, you know, you put on the overhead thing. This thing is actually very heavy. Um, <laughs> I bought this on Amazon for $15.16. It's right now it's $6.95. And the reason I got this is I had watched um, a YouTube video by Painting Between the Lines, who was doing this new way of not like she she kind of figured out how to do a Heaven and Earth designs um, by printing the pattern onto transparency paper and diamond painting directly onto transparency paper. And I was like, ha, huh, that's awesome. That is that is like. This is, is this double-sided? Am I going? Yeah, it says double-sided printable. Okay, um, that's awesome because I was I was thinking of doing the same thing as she did, but I couldn't think of how to make it work with paper because you know paper when you put glue on it, it or if the paper is stiff and it might not um, hold glue, and then if it gets wet, it'll just like kind of disintegrate and stuff like that. While this is plastic um, and it's more bendy. And like I said, it was it was an awesome idea. So this is my step one into trying out her method, which I will not explain on my channel, but I will just test it um, because she she has a very thorough explanation on how to to do a heaven and earth designs by pretty much printing the 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 pattern, the PDF pattern onto transparency paper with a increase of size of how you print it. And I was just like, awesome. She did a lot of the legwork and I did test it out. And I was like, and I printed out a test version and I was, and then I, and, uh, on paper and then, and then I was like, this works. 
So yeah, I tested it out on one of my patterns and then I was like, is, is, is it right? I was like, yep, she was, she's dead on in her how big to print it. So, and I've been testing out doing it for a round. This was my own calculation, FYI. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm like, it, this will fit the round too at some point. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's just a matter of printing the pattern bigger and then um, printing them on transparency paper so that it is more flexible and stronger than using paper. And then, yeah, I'll let her explain it, but this is my step one because yeah, like I said, I, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything more because it's her method and I will link her video below of her explanation of it. But I'm excited to try it. Next thing, because I'm a drill hoarder. Joan's a drill hoarder. So this one was, this is a 60 color pack of AB drills. I'm trying to find it. So I got this for $14.99. It should be 1000 pieces per, for 60 colors. And the reason I even found these or, or even attempted to look for them is someone asked me if I knew of a listing that had all the AB colors. And I'm like, I don't know. Um, for rounds, I for the 447 AB colors for rounds. And I was like, I don't know if they exist, but I went and looked for a multi-pack of drills for ABs. And I saw this and it was $14.99 for 60 colors. And I thought that's a decent enough price for, and then you're getting a thousand each. So who is this? Let's see. This is a lovely thank you here. Uh, they came with a couple baggies, not enough obviously. And some labels. This is why I have tons of labels, some labels here. And it looks like there's some more baggies in there. So there's three packs. This one looks like it's the blue and green pack. And these are the AB colors in here. Let's open it up. So yeah, $14.99 for 60 colors. Um, so that's like what, a little bit more than 50 cents each. Am I doing math wrong? Why am I trying to do math when I have a calculator on my computer? <laughs> That's more like 25 cents each because apparently I don't know how to do math. So it's about 25 cents each, which I think is a decent of price. Now I actually don't have too many round ABs, mainly because I just don't have too many round ABs um, because I don't do that many round diamond paintings. I'd probably do. I'd probably do an equal amount of round and squares, but I feel like I don't. <laughs> so, so here's some lovely green AB. And then if you're new to diamond paint, you're like, what in the world, Joan, are you talking about? A um, ABs have this um, coating on it. If you see, there's like, there's like the base green here, and then there's like something that you can see that looks a little metallic-y. That's the coating on top of it that gives it the AB name on it. So it, it just shines a little bit better. Like when light hits it, it shines really beautifully. So I use these to help enhance a diamond painting. So some green here. I thought these were the same color, but they're not. They are slightly different. Some blue. So this is like, there must be the blue and green collection here. Oh, this one's an awesome color. I love this one. I'm hoping it shows up on camera as well as this thing looks. It's beautiful. Um, and in some blue. These two actually, no, one's darker than the other. So, so yeah, this is the blue version here. It does have the AB color on top, of, so, um, so I don't need to put it exactly back in there. And then here is this version here. This one looks like pinks and oranges and yellows. So there's the DMCs there. 
so at the time of me writing this, it still looks like it's $14.99. It does come with a couple more baggies. And here is, so this more looks like the more peachy colors. Some pinks here. I do a lot of I do a lot of flowers, so the pinks are always nice. So, and then the darker reds here, and then some oranges. I do a lot of fall down pink, so the oranges are nice too. And then some yellows here. So And then this one looks like this is the purples here and purples and browns. It looks like pur purples and browns. So there's the colors and I guess there's a white because I see 5200. Now, if you're new to diamond painting and you don't know how to bling something up, I would suggest just buying fi like 5200 and blinging up the white. It's the easiest one to bling up without messing up the diamond painting. So, so some purples here, lovely purples. I guess a little bit more pink or this purples. So, yep, lots and some browns here. See, the thing is, see, this is what I mean by like blinging up. So like you see this, this is a brown color, but with the AB coating, it looks more like I don't know, a blue silvery color. So it can change the diamond painting a lot using these kind of ABs. So some white, this is a really pretty one here, metallic -y gray. And then see, this is the black doesn't look completely black. It looks more like a blue here. So I thought this was a relatively decent price for round, for 60 colors of round drills. $14.99. So is this the one with two eleven? Looking for six oh two is in this one. I'm slowly like pretty much completing my blinging up collection because apparently I have a big blinging up collection. <laughs> All right, so there is that one. Okay, this next one, it's heavy. Here, this is 447 color square beads, a thousand per bag. So yes, I bought a thousand pack. I had previously gotten this similar, something similar to this from Art Dot, like I don't know, a year and a half ago maybe. Uh, and then I saw this, and so the funny thing is, okay, in this order, I ordered. I had my nail wraps. I got this. This was this one. This twenty seven ninety nine for forty seven. Um, for the 447 pick colors and then I had also bought this one also but it's a 35.99 for the 447 colors and the main reason I got both of them was because I wanted to real I wanted to see if they were lying or not about let's see I'm trying to find what I'm trying to talk about is... is here it says it's supposed to be resin drills so if these are square diamond painting drills that are resin awesome 
But both of them said that they were resin and I figured what I would do is keep the cheaper one or keep both of them. I don't know, but if they were both acrylic, I would probably return at least one of them. If they were both resin, I would ponder whether I would keep them. FYI, this one that's $27.99 is now the same price as this. So it's $35.99 now for right now. And so I bought two complete listings, but you know what I got? Here's my other box. <laughs> so it's the same thing. So yeah, yeah. So this one is actually the more expensive one based off of the part number on the side. So I'm opening the cheaper one. <laughs> and if this is acrylic, I'll probably return the more expensive one. If it's resin and they look awesome, then I might keep both of them. We will see. Or I might just keep this one and see if 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 it ever goes back on sale for twenty seven ninety nine because I don't know if I don't need that many drills. Do I need? So I feel like this video is a Joan is a drill hoarder video, and <laughs> and must have all the colors. So yeah, Joan is a drill hoarder and must have all the co colors. And even my buying the transparency paper is part of my drill hoarding thing because the whole reason, a large reason I'm doing a lot of the Heaven Earth Designs ones is because I wanna use my spare drills. And I kinda like the, the I like the Heaven Earth Designs ones too because, I don't know, I like the, a lot of colors. I like the challenge. All right, so it comes in this really nice box. I think it's beautifully, wrapped here and there you go so it's this is actually the same um the same people <laughs> art r to rest there's a, a there's a period it's the same people so this is actually very beautifully this is beautifully um like put together here look at this like there's some baggies and there's a thank you card, same thank you card here. Whole bunch of labels here. And look at how nicely these are packed. So the question is the, are these, I need the extra light. Are these resin or are these acrylic? Need to look at a couple more. Okay, I see. I see a flaw in. See, this is how I could tell. This is how I tell resin and acrylic is the flaws in the resin drills tend to be that they have little holes on top of the drill, or the drills are not completely flat at the top. They they kind of become concave or sometimes too fat, um, convex. I don't know. I forgot which one's which. <laughs> So I saw a flaw in one of them and it looks like a resin flaw. And and then the uh, acrylic drills tend to have the dimple. Dimple. Okay. See, this is I don't have these two colors, the blank and ecru. They look really pretty. I don't know. They look pretty decent to me. I don't know if you can see. Let me move you down a little. I think I think they look pretty decent. Am I keeping both boxes? Is Joan gonna be that much of a drill hoarder? <laughs> Is Joan that much of a drill hoarder? It's so beautiful. Um one good thing is I don't have to figure out if I'm going to return these till January 31. So I could ponder the meaning of life first. And they do look like resin drills. I'm actually very happy with that. Very happy with that. Look at that. Now I wish I bought two boxes at the $27 <laughs> price. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think this is a Jonas Drill Hoarder um, video. The $27.99 price? That's awesome. Look at... 
yeah, I, I can see the hole at the top. That is a resin drill flaw, but these look actually very, very nice. Very nice. Joan just needs to buy more <laughs> heaven and earth design patterns. Yeah, no, I'm, I've been looking at several of them. None of them have the dimple at the bottom to that usually indicates the acrylic drills to me. And I have seen the flaw of the, um, I've seen the resin drill flaws. And I have to say kudos to this. Look at this, how beautifully packed this is. This is awesome. Awesome. Yeah, unfortunately it is $35.99 now, not the $27.99, but I'm actually very happy with this. Very happy with this. The question is if I'm keeping the second box. <laughs> you know, I should I should um, put these in my chart too because I'm sure they're slightly different color than my um, acrylic drills that I got from Art Dot because the resin drills just look a little bit different. So yeah, yeah. Joan's excited. Joan's excited. I'm talking about myself in third person now. Why am I talking in third person? Um, but yeah, just yeah. No, I'm. I'm. Yeah, these look awesome. Like I'm. I'm very happy with these. Very happy. Where's the three ten? That's usually the e bad one. <laughs> Pro I've already probably seen the 310, just who knows where. But I have to say, um, I give thumbs up to the how this thing is packed. It's beautiful. And if there was 310, I did not see it, so... But yeah, no, this is beautifully packed. I'm very happy with this. So yeah, so now I have a whole bunch of, now now the round drills, I, I don't know if they're resin, but I do see dimples in them. But it does say it's high quality acrylic on the round drill. Um, never, the material in the round drill one says it's, for these says it's high quality acrylic. So. So yeah, there you go. There is Joan's drill hoarding tendencies here. So I got this beautiful, beautiful box of four, 447 colors. Of, I, I, it looks like resin. I looked at a lot of them. They look like resin to me. So I'm happy with that. And then so my 60 colors of ABs here my <laughs> transparency film that I'm going to test out because I'm excited to try out the other H a heaven and earth design um, way of doing things and then see the future when I possibly use these nail wraps because I'm actually having a lot of fun doing my nail stuff. All right, that's all I have for today. Uh, so no diamond paintings were unboxed here but you can see how much i want to use these drills um but yeah no i'm excited about these drills uh i i'm gonna ponder if i'm gonna keep box number two because they do look really nice and we will we will see i have until january 31 to return um policy for amazon all right that's all i have for today so thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting bye